Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with another look from the Cosmic Dreamer palette by Ainsley Rain, and I'm really having fun with this palette. And I thought I'd go ahead and do a blue look because I have a real cool undertone, and I wish I was cooler in real life, but I do have a cool face look, so I really enjoy doing blues and greens and cooler colors and grays and stuff like that. So I thought I'd go ahead and get started with what I have on. And it's kind of ironic because I always seem to be putting things on my face to go ahead and be a little bit warmer when I'm going to go ahead and do a cool look. And I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should rethink that. Um, as far as what I have on today, I did go ahead and pick up the Essence Magic Filter. This was over at Ulta, and I got mine in light, and um, this is actually a good product. It's like the Elf Halo Glow. Uh, not as much product and a little bit less expensive. I think it's about $6.00. And so that's what I have on for my base. I did go ahead and use Maybelline Superstay C Plus in 102. I had in, it in some of the bronzing drops by Elf in Rose Gold. So this is what I have on there. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for blush, I sort of mixed two today. I picked up some of the Essence Baby Got Blush. And these are really fun. I'm really enjoying these, and I did go ahead and add in the NYX um, Getting Butter as well. So I have both of these on today. So these are what I have on for my blushes. I did go ahead and use the Flower Bronzer in the Heat Weight, the Sunrise Bronzer. And then I did go ahead and mix my highlighter skin, the Rare Beauty. Again, one of my favorites, the Mesmerize um, Highlighter. Mix that with a little bit of the ColourPop Flexitarian. So uh, that's what I did there. And I really enjoyed how the base worked out today. Um, I did go ahead and use a little bit of the NYX, and this is the Sandworms as far as uh, the lip color. And then I did a little bit of this as well, the ColourPop So Glassy. So that's what I have on as far as the lip look today. And then as far as the eye look, I went ahead and got out the Cosmic Dreamer palette. And again, the artwork on the Inslee Rain palettes is just absolutely gorgeous. And I went ahead and did a look from this bottom row down here. At least most of it's from the bottom row. Went ahead and used this color in the crease, this color in the outer corner, uh, this color on the outer corner as well. This one is uh, what I have right on the center of my eye. And then right on the inner corner, I went ahead and did this from bottom to top here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that underneath here as well. So I ended up with a really dark, smoky look. Um, the Inslee Rain shadows, I think, are gorgeous uh, in this particular palette. All of the shimmers are going to be duochrome or multi-chrome. They're just really pretty. And um, like I said, I've really been enjoying them. They're just really good formula. The mattes are buttery. They blend really, really easily. And um, as far as the blue look, this one is just really, really pretty. So I like it. And um, as far as working with some of these um, shimmers up here, what I found was to go ahead and do a base. Um, you know, either like when I'm using this one, I'll use a pink base or this base. And I, it just makes the multi-chrome just go boom and really pop. So I'm really, um, I had done one look and I'd used some of the pink and I hadn't put a base underneath it. And so I went outside it and it was absolutely really gorgeous. It just really didn't translate onto the camera very well. So that's, um, if you want to get the look a lot of pop, definitely go ahead and use one of the mattes underneath uh, one of the shimmers and that will really make it pop. And like I said, this is just a really great palette. It's the first one that I ever got from them. And this way that the eye look came out. Uh, the other thing that I did with this one 
was I used a Handian and uh, their eyeliner. I put this one from about here to about midway in the eye, and then I used the darker one from here to about the outer corner. So again, uh, gel eyeliner is really fun. And I think I used, yeah, I did use a finishing powder. Oh, the Panorama as far as the mascara. And the Essence Make Me Brow in the dark brown as far as uh, the brow goes. They say if you give yourself a darker brow, it makes you look younger. I'm not sure if I believe that one or not, but I'm kind of playing with that idea because everybody wants to look younger and feel younger and all that good stuff. So I'm uh, doing that. And then what was it? Oh, the finishing powder is right here. And it's a Beauty Pie, the triple uh, glow powder. So really fun powder. I did finally hit pan on it. It took me long time to pan on this powder um, but again highly recommend the cosmic dreamer and with this you just want to go don't you just feel like you're in a library and want to go so <laughs> really fun palette I'm really enjoying the palette and I think that's probably the whole video t for today so I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later bye